Hello everyone, my name is John Paul, daytrade2win.com. Today is Friday. And what I wanna show you and teach you today is something educational. I'm gonna show you a price action method that anybody can use on any market, almost any market. And I wanna be able to explain to you why this works because we have days that are trending days and we have days that are not, which are more flip-flop days. So before we begin, remember that trading is risky. Please don't trade with funds you cannot afford to lose. Understand there are risks involved with trading. Before I get into showing you this price action method, which I call the ABC, let me show you the signals for today on the Atlas line, on the at the open, on the trade scalper, because a lot of you are interested. And so let me start off here first with a Atlas line. Here is the Atlas line. Remember, the only thing I have to do here is put in my start time. Since I'm Eastern time, all I have to do is put here my time here to start. And as you can see, the signals so far for today on the Atlas line are 44.39.75. And then we have strength and pullback trades. And the market may go lower or the market may reverse. But so far, this is what we have today, September 17th. Now let's take a look at the trade scalper. So if I go to the trade scalper and I'm going to keep the Atlas line on the chart, here is here are so far the signals on the trade scalper. Now as you can see I have a five minute chart, but I'm going to change this up here because most of the time when we're scalping, we're scalping with a one minute chart or a range chart or a tick chart. That's how most traders use the trade scalper software. So you can see here here's a short here is the Atlas line. Here is a double wick short. Here's another short, another short. So you can see that we have a lot of short signals for today so far uh, on the trade scalper. Lastly, let me just remove here the Atlas line. Let me remove the trade scalper. Let me add the at the open. And I want to show you here what happened for today so far on the at the open method. Again, I don't have to do anything except for the market open time again. I'm New York time, Eastern time, so 9.30 for me. And we have two signals for the at the open method. So those were the three main methods we teach at day trade to win the Atlas line, the trade scalper, as well as the at the open. So far looking good, a lot of short trades, everything is a short. If you are buying the market, have a reason to buy the market. And this right now is indicating uh, a sell which already occurred. Those of you who have the at the open method successful, I would presume. All right, let's take a look at what the price action method that I actually teach this method during uh, mentorship and I have a couple of videos on how this works. So we have different types of days and the different types of days that occur are trending days, either up or down, or days that do not trend and they flip-flop or whipsaw back and forth. So this method is an idea of understanding the type of day that is unfolding before you, and maybe we can take advantage of that. Um, also, if you haven't signed up for emails and newsletters that we send out periodically, visit daytrade21.com because I do have a webinar coming up on Monday and if you are on our email list, you will get invited to our live webinar. I'll be teaching a few things on that live webinar for everybody. All right, so what we have here is at 9.30 my time, the market open. And what happens during this time is typically news, we have higher volatility because look at the ATR here. It's the highest average true range as soon as the market opens. Usually this gets slower as the day continues. And what we have here is an opportunity to outline the highest high as well as the lowest low of everything that happened within the first two and a half hours, which at 12 o'clock we will find out where we stand. So the first two and a half hours, which is the morning, it's the A part of the day, as I like to call it. And what we have is a lot of action. Like I said, volatility is high, news, and so on. Now, there's a lot of opportunities here. It could be the 
at the open too. It could be the Atlas line. It could be the trade scalper. So we have a lot of opportunities. As you can see, you just have seen from the signals I showed you for today. But moving forward into the future, how do we know if the market is moving higher or lower or whether it will move higher or lower? Maybe it's just going to stay stuck in a flip-flop type of environment, a range type of thing. So what really happens here is that on trending days, trending days that trend either continue higher and higher or lower and lower, the support here and the resistance is typically not respected. And so what we have is a situation where the market breaks the resistance and the support of what happens within the first two and a half hours, especially if it happens early on. So the goal here is to see right at 12.05, 12.10, 12.15, the market just keep on going and going either down or up. When that happens, typically the day is a strong trending day, especially if the ATR, which is high, you can see there 5.79, it's pretty high, especially if the market volatility is high, you can take advantage of that because it typically creates and converts into a strong trending day. So trending days don't happen quite that often, but this will turn into a trending day if it breaks the resistance and the support, highest high, lowest low, between the first two and a half hours of the day session. Now, it doesn't happen all the time. I would say probably it happens maybe 30 to 25%, 30% of the time, you'll see this trending situation occur. More often than not, it doesn't happen. And instead, what we have is 70% of the time, 70, 75% of the time, the market gets contained and gets stuck between this lowest low and this highest high as we move forward into the middle part of the day, which is also two and a half hours. And so what happens is I'm looking at the market and trying to understand where, will we have a trending day as we get into the B part of the day or not. So 70% of the time, believe it or not, this does not break out of these lows and these highs. It gets contained within this. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. And it may even test it, the highs or the lows. And as you probably are aware, that term is called double top and double bottom. So as a price action trader, as you can see, I'm not using any special indicators. I don't have moving averages. I don't have momentum. I don't have Bollinger Bands. I don't have any of that junk on the chart. I'm understanding what the price is doing to help me understand how to trade it later in the day. Will we have a trending day or not? Now, at 1430, this is uh, where the two and a half hours ends. And now we're going to look at a late day rally and a late day sell off as we get into the close. So the C part of the day is a little bit smaller. It's only about an hour and 45 minutes. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to see whether or not the market gets stuck between the range of B while trading in the last, and I'll show you a couple examples of that, as the market is trading in the last section of C. So we may have a late day rally or a late day sell off. So the idea behind the ABC method is to outline the A, the B, and the C three parts of the day if we have a breakout outside of the first two and a half hours it's considered a trending day if we have a breakout after this two and a half hours of b which is again eastern time from 12 to 2 30 which again is two and a half hours then we have a late day rally and a late day sell-off now the key here is that i really prefer to see this happen immediately so right now it's a little early i'm going to show you some examples but if the market breaks out 12.05, 12.10, 12.15, it just keeps on going. That's the key. Right away to see the breakout occur, not later on towards the end of the B part of the day, towards the end of this. We don't want to see that. We want to see it happen immediately. The same thing with the late day rally, rally or sell-off. It should happen almost immediately. As soon as the market starts breaking out outside the range of B, that's where we have 
possibly news like the FOMC or reports that come out on earnings, better than expected, less than expected, and the market just begins to move. All right, so this is what you see here as today. We haven't, the day is still unfolding, obviously. So let's go to yesterday and let's do the same exact thing. Like I said, anybody can do this. You don't need any special software. I do have this coded and I do offer it for, um, for traders the software which does this automatically for you I can show you that but here we have 930 here we have 12 o'clock here is yesterday Thursday September 16th the range of a the first two and a half hours so again what do we know about this well we know that we have news we have the highest volatility the, the most action lots of activity here yesterday for trading a lot of opportunities but then we get into the B part of the day, which is typically a little slower, but you can see, again, 70% of the time, this support and this resistance is not broken. It is held, it is contained, and you could see that uh, the market reversed and never came back, not even attested as a double bottom. Just kept on going. 12 or I should say now at 2.30, 14.30, again, this is two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. And this is another two and a half hours. And you can see now that we have a new range here, the B part of the day. And so the B part of the day takes the highest high, lowest low. Whatever happened between 12 o'clock and 2.30, the middle part of the day and let's see if we have a late day rally or a late day sell-off and more importantly that we can understand that we have a late day rally and sell-off so it's not just looking at it and thinking I think looks like let's have evidence or proof that it is doing what we want it to do before jumping in and taking a trade so at this point when the market breaks out of the highs of the B part of the day you can see there's an opportunity there, late day rally as we end the day. Okay, so here was yesterday. So let's go to the day before. So this is the 16th, let's go to the 15th. Again, uh, very simple, not something that is going to complicate your trading. It's understanding whether or not we have a late day rally or sell off, or if we have a trending day because now, as you can see in the B part of the day, this is the A part of the day. Again, the parts of the day are different. Markets trade differently in these sections of the day. We know what to expect in the A part of the day. A lot of action, highest volatility, news, and so on. The B part of the day is typically slower unless there's a reason, let me put this back, unless there's a reason for the market to do something. Again, it could be news, it could be earnings, it could be a report, but right away, and this is perfect in my opinion, where as soon as the B part of the day begins to trade, it breaks outside and keeps on going. It's a perfect opportunity to say, we have a trend. This is the ABC method from day trade to win. And I invite everyone to trade it, understand it, learn it. It's very simple. I provide it for free. This is 12 o'clock Eastern time, and this is 9.30 start of the market for me. Just adjust for your time zone. Obviously, if you're Central Time, Mountain Time, Pacific Time, or GMT Time in England, obviously you have to adjust here. These are not the same times for you in different time zones. Let me add the software so I can show you exactly how this works. The software is offered with mentorship and with other programs we give it as a bonus and where is the day trade to win ABC which is right here so some of you already have this day trade to an ABC there's nothing you have to do except your start time because that's based off of your time zone so for me it's 930 I click OK here we have the ABC software not only shading the area so you could see but also giving you the signals to go long or to go short it's a great little software that helps traders understand trends or whipsaws right so we don't always have to think there's a trend we can also say the day's a choppy day whipsaw day 
and I'm going to trade it accordingly. I have a webinar coming up on Monday. If you're not on our email list, you won't get the link to join up. So visit daytrade2win.com, sign up to one of our email lists, and you'll get invited to our live webinar. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Monday for the webinar. Take care now. If you're new to day trading and want to learn more on the benefits of trading the markets, visit daytrade2win.com, join the next mentorship class starting later this month, and subscribe to the Day Trade to Win YouTube channel. We focus on price action and we work exclusively with new and beginner traders who want to learn more on how to prosper from trading.